Most businesses lose around 20 to 30% of leads from missed calls. In this video, we'll go over a system that fixes this problem. So let's go over a quick demo for the same. So right now, I'll be calling the number for the missed call to trigger and uh, let's see what happens. Calling the number. And I cut it. Right. And right about now, I should be getting a call. Right, I'm getting a call. So let's see what happens now. Hi, this is Simo from Pacific Horizons Roofing Solutions. I'm sorry we missed your call earlier, just following up on your roofing inquiry. Do you have a quick minute to chat? Uh, yeah, Simo. Thank you. Are you still in need of roofing services at the moment? Yeah, I am. Actually, uh, it was urgent and uh, my roof is actually, you know, leaking right now. So I would uh, need, you know, a repair as soon as possible. Thank you for letting me know and I'm sorry to hear about the leak. We definitely want to help you get that taken care of quickly. Is this for a residential property or a commercial building? Uh, residential. Thank you for confirming that. Can you tell me a bit more about the leak? Where is it located and how severe is it? For example, is water coming through the ceiling or is yeah. it a small drip? Yeah, it, it, water is coming through the ceiling and it, it's a tiled roof and uh, yeah, hopefully it can be urgent. So can we, you know, uh, fix a call or, you know, a meeting sometime? Absolutely, we can help with that. Thank you for sharing those details. It sounds urgent and we'll prioritize getting someone out to inspect your tile roof as soon as possible. Just to confirm, are you the homeowner or the main decision maker for this repair? Yeah, I am. Great, thank you for confirming. To make sure we schedule at a convenient time, what days or times work best for you for a roof inspection? We uh, have availability Monday through Saturday between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. Okay, can we do tomorrow at uh, 4 p.m.? Thank you for waiting. I've scheduled your roof inspection for tomorrow at 4 p.m. Our team will come out to assess the leak and discuss repair options with you. Is there anything else you'd like us to know before the appointment or any special instructions for accessing your property? Uh, no, thank you. That's all. So from the demo, we saw that how it was able to, you know, immediately call us back after we gave a missed call. So a system like this have, you know, various advantages and benefits, three of which can be increased lead conversion, right? Increased customer satisfaction, you know, there are almost no missed calls. There are missed calls, but we follow up with them immediately, right? And uh, just faster response and handling, you know, and at the end, it can lead to increase in revenue for the business. And there are two ways of handling this system. One is, again, you saw from the demo, a voice call back to the lead. And the other can be a SMS, right? So either two, depends on the business. And uh, all the prompts and all the automations that we see in this video will be in the link down in the description. So sign up for that and you'll get access to my full resource hub, right? Uh, so do sign up for that and uh, yeah next we'll go through all the walkthroughs all the prompt and all the automations and how do we set the system up so first of all we'll go through our twilio setup how our missed call is uh, you know triggered and all those uh, basic setup right so go to our twilio, uh, twilio dashboard right and uh, you know your twilio dashboard go to your active numbers and over here we have uh, go to the voice configuration and over here we have options for you know webhook, uh, twiml bin function, studio flow, SIP trunk. So if we want to connect this number to our retail AI, you know, for the voice AI, for that we need SIP trunk uh, that I've covered in the previous videos. But for this, for the missed call to trigger, we need to actually you know configure a webhook, right? So this is a webhook. I'll go through the webhook also, but uh, what is happening over here is when a call comes in this webhook will be triggered first and uh, when the call status changes such as call picked up call ended you know all the status it will again trigger this particular webhook and uh, it will call this method so there are post and get so this is the main thing and you can also do this with uh, something called 2ml bin but i just did a webhook it's easy enough so 
this was the basic setup and the setup is really easy for Twilio and for this we I actually did using two numbers so one was a missed call trigger so I called the number and trigger the missed call which was this and the number which called me back was another number right uh, through which our SIP and our detail is configured right so we will move on to that first uh, that after this right okay so let's move on to our detail AI so in the steps to follow we are uh, first of all there's a greeting obviously uh, there's confirm the interest you know or do they need repair replacement inspection commercial or uh, you know residential basically just uh, get all the details and we qualify the lead according to this particular section right uh, once we qualify we you know provide them uh, you know is it possible and how much value will it be etc etc and after that if they want to book a call we book a call and that happens through this particular thing called MCP so uh, I'll go through this basically this is uh, this calls a particular uh, server which books us a call in the Google Calendar. So next we will be uh, going through all the automations, right? Uh, that includes the you know booking the call and the missed call calling back triggering section. So yeah, next up is that. So this is our detail a prompt and uh, the you know the voice agent which called this is this particular voice agent uh, named with missed call recovery agent and this is linked to our other number you know through which we got uh, the call so i'll just go through this quickly uh, most of the prompt structure is again similar to my previous video so again do sign up for the resource hub and uh, you can get access to all my resources on all my prompts so yeah so here we just define the context, right? Uh, stuff such as the company, the phone number, website, etc., etc. Working hours, and uh, after that, this is something uh, which is really important and which can be missed by you know many in many situations. But this is really important. We need to let our voice agent know what the current date and time is, right? In order to book a call, so it has a context of what today is, right? So in retail, we have a particular inbuilt variable called current time, which just gives us a current date and time, right? So this is for the voice agent. We just give it a context. Over here, we are defining the persona, like, you know, the role, objective, skills, and tone, right? So role is basically, we are we are saying it that you are missed call recovery outbound roofing service uh, assistant for this particular company right so we are explicitly defining that it is a missed call recovery outbound agent right and uh, its objective is to re-engage leads qualify the needs and book calls right book appointments and uh, skills are you know service need qualification object objection handling scheduling conversation flow right just like how a typical sales agent might respond and all the skills he or she might have right so we are defining all the skills that this particular voice agent has and what kind of tone it is right these are some specifics so over here we have defined that since this is a missed call recovery agent only so we have defined that always remember to start the conversation by apologizing to the lead for missing the call since you are a missed call recovery agent right and uh, this is important for this particular context you may ask only one question at a time, right? Don't uh, just, you know, bombard the lead with a bunch of questions, right? Wait for a response after each question. And again, if the caller has any inquiry that is out of scope, uh, say that you'll pass on the message to other guys and you'll let them know so, right? So some specifics that you always want to have and you can customize it according to your business needs, right? These are some qualification criteria. So basically, uh, how the business qualifies certain leads if they're you know qualified or not, right? So this is the criteria. Again, this is our demo purposes only. This will change according to business, uh, according to use cases, according to you, right? So this is my qualification criteria. Urgently needs to get work done within three months, obviously. 
type of service right and is the lead the decision maker or not and shows clear interest in proceeding and is willing to discuss you know the details right so over here uh, the voice agent will uh, you know mark the lead as qualified or not qualified right and these are some rules for the voice assistant so again greet uh, and clearly introduce yourself if we have the data use the lead's name if we don't then again ignore it qualify the lead based on the need and uh, confirm details back to the lead before scheduling right so just confirm again this is objection uh, objection handling so any objections lead might have uh, do handle that and for all this you might also uh, upload a knowledge base right uh, how you guys do how a particular business does its you know sales objection all the stuff you can add knowledge base over here right so you know maintain a smooth human like dialogue and uh, if a lead skips a question you may ask it again at a later time if call if it is relevant right so okay next are the steps to follow so before we move on to the automations uh, if you are facing this exact problem in your business about you know missed calls and you want to solve it uh, we can discuss further we can strategize about how this system can you know uh, increase the lead conversion uh, lead satisfaction for you uh, specifically mold it for you uh, if you want that do book a call with me using the link in the, in the description and uh, we can talk further okay so now to the automations uh, automations are pretty simple i would say first is this particular webhook this webhook is the same one which is over here so once we uh, you know call the number it triggers the you know uh, webhook and uh, once the sta status changes which are such as uh, there's a missed call and you know the call is ended then it is triggered again and over here it you know calls this right okay so first of all this is a post webhook and uh, we see all the details being sent over here you know from twilio to this particular webhook we see uh, stuff such as timestamp or uh, the caller's number to and from number you know call duration right over using this particular detail we can see how long the call went for right if it's zero again uh, it was obviously a missed call right and we see the call status as completed right we see the call state everything all the details that we might need or we might not need and we also see uh, was it you know it was an inbound call right so after this particular web we uh, go to a if else basically we this is a note called if note and if a certain condition is true we move on to this particular set of uh, you know workflow if it's not then we just ignore it so over here we are just checking the call status is completed and the call duration right so for the demo purpose i just put the call duration as 5 but uh, put it as zero for exact missed call right so if it's you know if it's zero and if it's a missed call if the call has been completed then it will move on to this particular webhook i um, mean this particular work uh, set of nodes so this is uh, what this particular node is doing is it is creating a phone call so uh, retail i has a particular api right a set of apis apis is uh, basically a uh, set of urls you can think of that which enables us to use retail ai services right so this particular url is called create phone call it again creates phone call right and it needs a particular json body so from number to number and the agent id so this agent id is this particular id just copy it over here and you can paste it and the from number and to number it again depends on you right so you can fetch this from your uh, if you know whatever data you have got over here you can feed it over here and this will call us so if it's a missed call right again this depends on if this condition is true so um, if it's completed right and if the call duration is less than five you can put it as zero that's more accurate it will come over here it will call us using this particular voice agent that you saw in the demo the whole call went right and then it will respond back right 
so one thing we should know about twilio is that uh, it needs a particular response in a particular way right it needs a xml response so this particular uh, this is a response web hook so over here we respond we respond with text and in a text body we paste this so this is just a test right so for demo purposes but it needs a xml response right so over here right so do make sure of that and this will this automation is for calling us right after the missed call is triggered and you saw how the voice agent booked the call right so that particular uh, workflow is using this so this is something called mcp it really eases you know uh, all the call booking workflow so before we needed to you know develop the workflow manually like uh, each and every node right so using, using this we can just define all our tools you know uh, such as get event create events delete events update events and create event with attendees so these these are all uh, google calendar's uh, nodes right so example if i go over here you connect a google uh, google calendar over here and you define your you define your details right uh, so over here whatever details you want you define it over here and this particular mcp server that you see you copy the server and you come to retail AI and this particular mcp which you see you add mcp right so over here you add the name of the mcp name can be anything right i gave it a name of google calendar mcp you add the url of the mcp so this particular url is this url and this is the path right path is the this particular query parameter which you see is this path right you enter the url and uh, if there's any headers or authentication that you need you add it over here right so i've already done that and these are all the tools so as soon as you add that uh, you get all the tools available right uh, so you see, we see these tools and you can see all these tools so in case you don't want certain tools uh, you can remove that so this what will happen is this particular voice agent will have access to all these tools so when we said that can we book a call for tomorrow 4 pm what it did was it first of all it checked if it it got all the events right it checked if there's any call book already with 4 pm right if it's not booked then it's free it's a free slot right after that it created an event with 4 pm right so all that workflow happened immediately right and it it's really easy as you can see this is all the workflow right and uh, it makes mcv makes everything more convenient right so yeah so this was the whole workflow it's a pretty simple workflow but uh, again the roi on this is pretty massive you it ensures that there are almost you know you reach out to ev every misleads right so the customer satisfaction scores just skyrockets your lead conversion skyrockets at the end of the day your revenue also increases you know we went through the automations we went through the detail ai and we went through our uh, twilio setup again uh, this twilio it can be any it can be vonage or you know anything so you can customize it according to you right so yeah so if you like this video uh, do sign up for my newsletter which will give you access to my full resource which you know has multiple prompts multiple automations for my previous videos and for my upcoming videos also so do sign up for that uh, you'll also get access to case studies uh, behind the scenes of how these systems are working for actual clients right that i'm working with and do, do sign up for that and again if you want this system built for you exactly for your business do reach out to me using the link in the description and book a call with me and uh, yeah my next video will be about uh, facebook ads how we connect that to our uh, n attempt right so this is a system that i'm working for an actual client so you'll uh, get access to that system also so watch out for that and yeah thanks for watching